Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be the last in this kind of Christmas week that was very spontaneous, um, where you've not only had a vlog every day this week up until Christmas Day, you've also had a main video as well. So I hope you've really enjoyed everything that I've put together for you and in the new year it will continue, my videos are going to continue as normal with maybe a few changes, um, but I'm going to do an update video just in the new year to let you all know what's going on and hopefully we should be in the new house by then. There's lots of exciting things happening and I'm excited to share them all with you but I'm going to wait till 2016 so we can really kick it off with a bang. Today's video is going to be a kind of a Christmas memory lane video. Um, I haven't written any notes, I've I screenshotted or I've saved some pictures to my computer of ones that had been uploaded to Facebook from many and many and many years ago when I was younger at Christmas time. I just wanted to talk to you today really about Christmas and what Christmas means to me and just a bit of a chatty video about my Christmas memories and it, not only will it help you get to know me a little bit better but I think it will also get us really into the Christmas spirit but the main thing that I want from this video is I would really like if you would comment, you know how much all of your comments mean to me and reading comments about Christmas and memories I think is just like the best thing so if you all would leave me a comment to let me know some of your favourite Christmas memories or what Christmas means to you I would love to chat to you about it in the comments so um, basically my main memories when it comes to Christmas are all from my Nana and Granddad's hotel which some of you might know some of you might not be aware but my grandparents had a hotel here in Blackpool on the front. My mum basically was there 24 seven. She had lots of different roles and we were there, if we weren't at school or asleep at home, we were basically at the hotel. And it was just the best thing ever. Obviously everybody has a childhood and everybody's childhood is different. Um, but I think I had a pretty good one in the respect when it came to the hotel. There was obviously parts that I won't get into today that could have been better, but the majority of it, especially when we were at the hotel, was just incredible. The hotel at Christmas time, all of our, we had like regular guests. We didn't really have people just coming in and out. It was always the same people every single year, especially when it came to Christmas. Um, and we would, it would start by decorating the hotel. So we would help put decorations up. Obviously we'd have Christmas trees and put tinsel over the mirrors in the dining room. And everything was just more special, Christmassy, everyone was, it, everyone's moods was, were lifted because it was just on such a massive scale and at, thinking about it now, I can't even imagine how stressful it must have been for my nana, my granddad and my mum and everybody else that was involved, the staff, all the family members because I struggle getting a house ready for Christmas, never mind a hotel um, where you've got many more people relying on you to have a good time. Um, so basically we would only open like a couple of days before Christmas Day and people would come and we'd do Christmas dinner. Um, so on Christmas Day I'd wake up at home and my mum and dad would get up with us um, and open Christmas presents and then my mum would go off to work and she'd help prepare the Christmas dinner and um, make everything all festive and we used to put the tables like in a different layout, I think at Christmas if I remember rightly. Make it, we made it into more of like a party theme and people sat together rather than like on their individual tables with their room. So it was a lot more like, a more, more of a community and everyone kind of joined in together. Um, and then at about dinner time I would say, we would go to the hotel, me and my three sisters and also normally my cousins. And it, we would always arrive just in time for Father Christmas which um, at the hotel was either my granddad or my uncle Roger dressing up as Father Christmas and handing out presents to the guests. So my Nana would buy all the ladies um, something, I think it was normally like a toiletry set and then all the gents something and it would always be the same thing I think and then she'd wrap them up and it just, it, thinking about this makes me really sad thinking that she did all of that and obviously she had help but I like who I am now, I would have loved to have been involved with that, but obviously, because I was so young then, like we sold, I think we sold the hotel when um, I was maybe 12, maybe a little bit younger, I think I was about 12. Um, so I never really was an adult when we were there, and I just think it would have been a completely different experience, in a good and a bad way. Um, so, I, um, so we would arrive for Father Christmas and we'd sit at the end of the bottom of the dining room where it was like a more of a communal area uh, by the organ uh, with typically my dad and like aunties, cousins um, and we'd wait 
for our present and we were always left till last and it was always like a thing of I think they'd like disappear and walk into the back and he'd be like ho 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 see you next year and he'd disappear and we'd all be sat there like well, we haven't had anything even though we'd already had all of our presents in the morning and then he um they'd come back out and they'd be like oh we've got another bag here and it'd be another Santa sack and they'd do it in age order so it was always my cousin Chris that got his first and then obviously Paul and Simon and I was such a nervous and shy child and even though I was surrounded by all of these people that I knew um, and that I loved so much even the guests obviously I didn't know them on a really personal level because I was so young but I looked up to them all I had respect for them all and they were all so kind to us um, well, I had to walk so when our name was called it was always like oh is there an Amy here um, and uh, like my name was called and I'd have to get up and walk up like the aisle between the tables to to him to get the present and I always remember I was so nervous like I can feel it now um, and I remember like my cousins would like walk up there and just take it my sisters and I'd be like <laughs> um, but I remember so we, we'd always get like obviously a present off my nan and granddad this was just like an extra little thing from Father Christmas one year I got um something that I'd asked my mum for and it was a Crayola set with like so many crayons, felt tips, anything you'd need. I was obsessed with stationery and I think that that's now developed onto makeup. Um, but that's what I wanted. It was like a big blue tub and it had drawers and everything. It was amazing. Um, and I didn't get it on Christmas morning and I remember being a bit like, mm, you know, I was never one of those children that if I didn't get what I wanted that I'd be, or I didn't, don't think I was, that I'd be distraught. But I remember being upset that I didn't get it. And then I got it off Father Christmas one year and I just remember being like, and I was so happy and I loved it. That's, I can't really remember much else that we got. Um, I think one year we got, I, I just, I can't really remember, but that's the one that stands out the most. Um, and then after that, we'd have our Christmas dinner. So the guests would go out for the day or do whatever they were doing. And we would set up a smaller table. It was always quite a long one because there was a lot of people and then the staff and all the family members would sit and have their Christmas dinner. Not always all the staff, because obviously they had homes to go to, um, but I do remember men most of them staying with us and we'd have our Christmas dinner. And then about, when, once we'd finished that, we'd then have a buffet in the evening, um, where my nana, my granddad always wore one of those really tall hats and he used to carve the meat. And we'd always have like a really nice hot pot. There would be quality streets and celebrations and roses on in little dishes on the tables. And then on Christmas Day, I think we'd just have a buffet and it would we'd just have a party. That really kicked off the festive season. Boxing Day was always the one I can remember the most, where we'd spend the whole day setting up, clearing up after the night before and setting up. And we used to move all the tables to the outside of the room and then lift the carpet up in the middle. And it'd, I feel like I've been talking for so long now. Oh no, only 10 minutes. Um, and we'd lift the carpet up and we'd have like a wooden dance floor. And I remember when we were setting up one year, um, one of the guests, she was called Marion, who was like one of our most like cared about guests who used to come frequently throughout the year. And um, she had, um, she'd come down early and I decided that I was going to put, uh, I think it was S Club 7 Natural on the CD player and that I was going to sing with the mic that was connected to it that we used to use for like announcing things like if we were playing bingo and stuff. And um, and I gave it like a little show. I remember doing that. And that was quite a big thing for me because I was so nervous. Um, and basically on Boxing Day, we would do like all sorts of activities. I can't remember if some of these were on Christmas Day or not, but we used to play bingo. Um, and obviously they were just like little prizes. We weren't, they, I don't think we played for money ever. Um, and we were allowed to play the kids. And um, we did things like, um, sing-along like music sing-alongs and then on boxing day it would be fancy dress and we had some corkers like all of the guests would get so involved and it was just hilarious one year I went as a Disney princess and I wore like a pink sparkly dress and I had a tiara and then these massive round glasses that did not go whatsoever. Um, you never see a Disney princess with massive round glasses like that do you? Um, and then one year I went as when it was millennium I went as like Miss T Miss World or Miss 2000 or something and because my auntie was going as the adult one 
and she was going as like Miss World or something and then I was Miss Millennium and I had like this strappy slinky like silver glittery sequin dress and I just thought I was the bee's knees um, and then I can't really remember many of my other outfits. I remember one year my mum dressed up as Corella de Vil and she did the whole half black, half white thing in her hair and she bought my sister, Katie, like a dog onesie and my mum would like had like that fake cigarette thing that Cruella has and she was like dragging my sister around the dance floor which was hilarious. We just like everyone would get involved and it was so special. Everyone was always from what I can remember, everyone was always happy, everyone's spirits were lifted, and it was just one big party that we never ever wanted it to end. And I think now that's like when we go to parties or family things, we're always like, at like the life and soul, we're always up on the dance floor, we know all the moves to Macarena. And it, I know it sounds really cheesy, but I think you're allowed to be cheesy when it comes to things like Christmas. And everything was just amazing. I remember we used to have, with the after the cheese boards, um, we, like after the buffet and stuff or after Christmas dinner we used to have after eights on the cheese boards and my nanny used to get like boxes and boxes of them and store them in the single room at the end of the kitchen which is where like we used to stay um, and there'd be boxes and boxes and I remember going in there with my auntie Karen and just like eating them out of the box even though we weren't supposed to be doing I remember they used to hide our advent calendars on top of the wardrobes in there as well and I remember they always used to, like we could see them at the top of it, like the purple Cadbury's ones coming through the um, carrier bag. And I think now, since we sold the hotel and since my nana passed, my auntie Danny um, has started doing Christmas in Southport and we spent it there for so many years and had the most amazing time. It was like a continuous of the party that we'd have at the hotel but obviously on a much smaller scale because there wasn't all the guests there um but then I think it just stems from that that why I get so like for me I love opening the presents and buy, buying people presents is one of my favorite things to do but actually being together with all the family and it's just one day where everybody's just you just kind of forget about everything else and everyone comes together and you just have a really good time and I just think that's what it's about and even though it's one day a year I think the run up to it and also all the time after it's just a really lovely time and I think that it will always hold a special place in my heart because of my childhood at the hotel and I think because I did have such a different Christmas to quite a lot of people that I went to school with and people that I know um, it's just like I think that's another reason that me and my sisters have such an amazing bond because we have all of those memories and it's just something that we'll always have to look back on and the pictures I should have been putting pictures up as I've been talking about this um, I've saved them on the computer so hopefully I've remembered to do that just I don't know really what I've achieved by telling you all of that um, it definitely has made me feel more Christmassy and really really excited and hopefully you can gather um, my favourite Christmas memories and things that just make me really really happy it's just there's just lots of little funny trinkety things my granddad would play the organ and um, we'd have the christmas music on we'd sit on the bar um we just it was just amazing and it, it literally felt like we were just a part of one massive family and it i all just wish now that we we keep in touch we've kept in touch with so many of the guests but not as much as i'd like but then i kind of think is it because it's my childhood and I view it in a different way but I don't think it is because whenever we see any of the old guests or we talk to them everybody has the same fond memories and people still go around and visit my granddad now and we've not been in the hotel for like over 10 years but that's how much respect that they had for my nan and granddad and I just think that they had an amazing thing and um they made Christmas and this time of year so special for so many people including myself and my sisters and it's something that I'll always remember and going forward in my life when I have my own children I will try my hardest to make this time of year as amazing as it was for me Um, all my family and like people that we knew just made it the best ever. I just thought I'd share that with you so please leave me in the comments your favourite Christmas memory or what you remember most about Christmas when you were young and we can just have a nice little conversation and discussion. I just think it'd be a nice way to 
spend Christmas Eve. So I hope you've all had a lovely day and that you're all excited for the morning because in the morning it's Christmas Day and I'm really excited. I hope you all have a lovely Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you did like and I will see you all very soon. Bye.